Cherry switches are just about in every way the best tactile button you could ask for. You can backlight them, keycaps come in almost any size and color imaginable, but mounting them isn't quite as easy as standard round panel mount buttons. I want an easy way to incorporate cherry key switches into some newer projects, and that's specifically some arcade control panels. So let's make a PCB to remedy this. I made this breakout PCB for cherry keys. It breaks out four switches or buttons with common ground into a standard five pin JST connector, similar to arcade joysticks. You also get individual LEDs with ground broken out on the opposite side. These are for cherry keys that have a pass through for three millimeter diameter LEDs, and specifically the legs go through here. You can backlight specific keycaps using this method. To assemble, I'm gonna start with soldering the resistors on the back. I'm using 330 ohm, 1206 package size. I'll put a blob of solder just on one pad, then heat that up and tack the part in place. Next, I'll solder the Cherry MX switches in place. I'm using a 3D printed jig to keep the keys square and aligned with this PCB. If you're going to backlight the keycaps, you can solder the LEDs for each key now. Note, again, these are three millimeter LEDs. I forgot to mark the LED polarity on this board, but the long leg should connect closer to the resistor. The short legs go through the ground pad with thermals. Next are the headers. You could of course solder wires here directly, but I like building modular things, so I like removable connections. These are 0.1 inch male headers that match most JST cables, and that's it. I've already marked hole locations to mount the PCB. These holes are three millimeter in diameter, and the spacing is 93 millimeters from center to center. Just a side note, you might have to route out a small channel if you're using the male headers because they'll poke out above the top surface of the PCB, so a small channel needs to be cut out so the PCB will sit flush. The application I'm showing here is building a PlayStation 1 arcade cabinet with real hardware. Therefore, I need to map all the controller buttons, like start, select, R1, R2, L2, L1, and two extra buttons for turbo and clear because I'm using a arcade controller breakout PCB. Mounting eight cherry keys was easier than mounting eight individual round buttons, hence the reason why this PCB is so nice. Other uses for this PCB, you could make a like remote camera switch or just add cherry keys to anything. If you want to buy this PCB, check out the link in the description, and thanks for watching.